Donut day. We're just talking about our favorite donuts right now. It is a great day to support our local bakeries, but it's more than just that. It's a day to recognize a piece of women's history. Joining us this morning to tell us more is Major Richard Peace. Good morning. Thank Good you for morning. coming in so early. I appreciate it. Uh, it gave me an excuse to have a donut. There you go, right? Awesome. Get in the spirit. Right. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about the history with World War One that I don't know that a lot of people are aware of? Well, you know, as uh, all of our men went to World War I, uh, the Salvation Army wanted to do something to make them feel like they were at home. And so we had volunteers that were women that went overseas at the, uh, at the request of our national commander, Evangeline Booth. And they were in the front lines providing support to, uh, to our uh, soldiers that were overseas. Yeah. And one of them decided, you know what would be really great is if we give them a taste of home, let's make donuts. Wow. And uh, my, they came up with a recipe that I guess worked on the front lines. And uh, my, my theory is it had a little extra flavor because they would uh, fry them in the upside down helmets of the Doughboys. Wow, uh, so really? So probably gave it a little extra taste there. Okay. And uh, 85 years ago, the Salvation Army launched Donut Day uh, to remind folks of the work not only of those women, but of what we do every day to help those in need throughout our country. So they were on the front lines as morale boosters then, which is a, it plays a huge role. It does, and uh, really started a tradition that we've had with our military for the last uh, 100 and 10 years, I got to do the math of when right, World War, right. a little less than 110 years, but our, uh, our support of our uh, men and women in uniform uh, is a practical way for them to feel like they're at home. Yeah. yeah. And so today, if you go to Lamar's, I mean, there's ways to support, right? There, there are actually, you can go to any donut place, but Lamar's today has partnered with us. We're handing out uh, over 5,000 donuts across mm -hmm. Denver Metro to first responders, to uh, veterans, and to members of the media. So we brought some donuts for you guys to have uh, this morning as well. Everyone loves uh, a good But it's donut. a great way uh, just to remind folks that we are uh, helping folks, our neighbors in need every single day across Denver Metro. And what do you guys specifically do with veterans and how do you support them? Uh, so veterans, we do a few things. One, um, certainly there are a lot of uh, homeless vets mm -hmm. and uh, so at our shelters, we support them. We provide case management, try to get them connected with the benefits that are available to them so that they can uh, get their lives uh, back on track. Yeah. Uh, we also uh, work with our uh, VA uh, wherever there's a VA hospital. There's also a Salvation Army that uh, will go and visit. So today out at the VA hospital in Aurora, we have a large group that's going out and handing out donuts, but we also um, visit and provide emotional support. Awesome. It's a little taste of comfort and a good way to support our veterans. Well, yes. thank you so much for coming in. I always appreciate it. Thank you so much. You bet. And enjoy your donuts. <laughs> oh, you know we will. <laughs>